everyone, my name is Jeff Rojas and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in New York City. Today we're on my set here in New York City and I'm not in the middle of In Between Two Ferns. My girlfriend wanted up shooting a beauty editorial today and that'll be released in the next couple weeks. Nonetheless, a bunch of you emailed me about removing grease from people's faces in, in your photos. It's really easy to do even if you don't have any Adobe Photoshop experience. We'll go ahead and go over that right after this. Everyone naturally has grease on their face. Regardless of who you are or where you're from, it doesn't matter. Now, for the purposes of this video, I didn't wear any makeup whatsoever, so there's probably a bunch of like blemishes and things that I usually hide, um, and oil all over my face. I did that purposely, so you guys know that. You guys get to see the real me today. Nonetheless, it's really easy to remove oil from people's skin. It takes three basic steps. Let's jump straight into Photoshop and see that happen. In order to remove grease from your subject's face, begin by creating a new blank layer by selecting the Create New Layer option at the bottom of the Layers panel. It's going to create its own independent layer at the top above our original image so we're not manipulating our source image or our original file. So all the changes that I have will be made on their own independent layer. Go ahead and press I to select the eyedropper tool or select it manually in the toolbar here. And what we want to do is look for the affected areas or the greasy highlighted spots that we want to go ahead and manipulate and look for the darker colors in that specific area. We want to go ahead and select colors that aren't our highlights or close to our highlights. We want to select mid-tone colors in that area or if you're just starting off with Photoshop, we want to select a couple of colors that are a couple shades darker than our highlights. So right now I'm selecting these specific areas that are not our highlights, they're just a tad bit darker. Select our brush by pressing B or going manually to our brush tool and go up to the sizes chart. I generally want to select a brush that's almost as large as the affected area or slightly smaller than our affected area. I have my soft brush which is gradated selected and I want to change my opacity to anything between 10 and 15 percent so we make gradual changes in that area. So as I made all those adjustments, all I need to do is start painting the affected area by moving back and forth as such. And as I'm moving around my image, I want to go ahead and make sure that I press I to select the eyedropper tool and select colors in the area that we're currently working on because colors will vary depending on what area of the face that we're currently working on. Go ahead and press the brush tool again and paint those affected areas gradually. The trick to effectively taking out greasy spots is to make changes as gradually as possible and don't go overboard with your changes. So as I've made those changes, it has more of a matte finish. If I feel like I've affected the area too much, all I need to do is go to my top layer here and lower the opacity as such. I can go ahead and make the changes accordingly. So in doing so, I've been able to manipulate the photo and take out some of the greasier spots inside the face. That was easy to do. All we used was a new layer, eyedropper tool, painted over with a paintbrush, and we were done. Super simple. You can't get easier than that. But regardless, if you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below. If you're watching on Facebook, please go ahead and share this video with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any questions again, please comment in the section below. Have a great weekend.